Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alan and this is my very first YouTube video. I'm super excited for this journey and I hope you guys stick around with me because I have so much in store for you. Well, my channel is basically going to be about my life experiences, especially away from home because I've been staying abroad for since 2017 to date. I stayed in Dubai for quite some time and recently I moved to the Netherlands. Well, um, to, in today's video, I'll be sharing about the tips on how to get around in a new country. And particularly since I'm in the Netherlands, I'm just going to share tips on how to get around in the Netherlands. So if you're new to the Netherlands, this is the video for you. And also if you're still back in your home country and you'd like to travel to the Netherlands, this will still be very helpful. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just click the sub subscribe button and let's move right into the video. Tip number one, move around a lot. A lot. Well, you must be wondering, like, of course, if I'm in a new country, I'll move around and, you know, see new things because of the excitement. But trust me, if you have been there, you can relate to this. Like, it's sometimes scary, especially because the weather is different sometimes you don't know how to get around you don't know the bus routes you don't know the train routes you don't really know where places are if you are in the netherlands there is a website it's called ba bowen rider bowen rider <laughs> forgive my wrong dutch pronunciation but i'll link the website down below for you guys to check it out it gives you accurate weather forecast like hour by hour weather forecast so you can plan appropriately and know what time you know it's gonna rain or what time it's going to you know be so windy it gives very accurate detail Let's engage in lots of activities like running walking cycling well the weather forecast will help with those activities since they are outdoor you will know what time what what time the weather is favorable for you to go out there for those activities and if you're scared about you know some activities like cycling i will tell you a personal experience personally i didn't know how to cycle because in uganda it's not i don't know like girls girls are not allowed to cycle at all like that's just how it is it's only guys that can cycle in uganda but when i came out here i just realized it's a way of life like everybody just has to have a bicycle it doesn't matter whether you have a car or you know or whether you walk the fastest or whatever it's just a way of life here you just have to cycle and you you won't imagine like i learned in the shortest time possible because it's something that i've really always wanted to do but i wasn't allowed to do it back home so i got a chance and i you know i learned and yes now i can ride on my own <laughs> Tip number two, public transport. Well, if you just moved out to a new country, I wouldn't advise you to take um, taxis a lot because taxis or Uber or Karim, they can be very convenient, yeah, but they can, they are a bit costly. I would advise for you to use Google Maps because Google Maps sometimes work offline as well once you are still home just put your your destination starting point and destination and google maps will will show you the road you know just turn your gps on and it will work offline even when you're out of the internet coverage area in the netherlands we have an ov chip card well this card is the one that we use for the buses trams and train stations so as you enter the bus or the tram or train you just punch in and then as you get out just make sure to punch out again just load some balance on the card whenever you pay for your for your transport fare you might be wondering how do i where do i buy the ovi chip card it's sold at the airports you can buy it from a supermarket a news agent and even at the train stations you buy it from the counter if you're planning to stay for longer there is another card that you order online and on that card they will put even your picture on that card
and then if you're not planning to stay for so long there is a temporary one that takes up to five years and also if you're a tourist you can just like if you purchase that card just keep it for the next time you come back maybe to the netherlands and you might need it who knows tip number four make sure you ask when you're lost just ask anyone you'll be surprised at how much people are willing to help you know you just when in case you you lose your way because that's very common if you are in a new country and trust me people out here understand they know they know that you know this stuff happens and they'll be much more much willing to help so don't be afraid even if it's your first time in a country just speak to anyone and be like oh by the way it's my first time in the netherlands and they'll be more than willing to help don't be scared to ask tip number five you need to google places to visit I mean, if you just moved to a new country, you definitely need to know a bit about the a bit about the culture of the people staying there. For example, here in the Netherlands, the culture of the Dutch is very rich. They have a very rich culture, and you won't know that only by the internet. Sometimes you have to, you know, Google those places, go to those places, experience it hands-on, and then that's the only way you'll know more about it. So places that I would recommend is the, the tulip fields. They are very beautiful. I had a chance to visit the Netherlands when the tulips were in season in May. And oh my God, it was breathtaking. First of all, the aromas from the tulip fields, it's just so amazing. Like it's different fields. Then the colors, you know, the colors are just, I don't know. It's Like everybody needs to see this, <laughs> you know, it's very beautiful, but that's if they are in season because some in some months during the year, they are not in season. So if you are lucky to visit the Netherlands during the tulip season, make sure you visit the tulip fields. Then there is a very interesting place called Zanzis Kans. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive my Dutch because you know, Dutch is one of the hardest languages. I'm still trying to, you know, find a footing in this language and hopefully I'll get there soon. So I'll just write it down for you below so you can have a look at it. It's next to Amsterdam. And in this place, you will, it, it's so rich in tradition. Dutch 18th century recreated. You will find artisan workshops for the clothes, um, cheese shops where you can try different kinds of cheese being from a country that doesn't even we don't we don't do any cheese at all so it was quite an amazing experience and then there is like the traditional windmills there is so much to see like in just that one place you will see so much about the netherlands it, it will give you a feel about the dutch and their culture tip number six walking interviews well, I know we are in the COVID era and most of you do not really want to get out. Try to take caution, but if you can, it's much better to go for walking interviews because it's going to, you can easily create an impression when you meet someone physically, other than when you just like speak with, uh, sorry, send your CV to them. I mean, they receive millions and millions of CVs. They are definitely not going to look through each and every one of them. So if you get a chance to go for a walking interview, I think you should grab it. And besides that, it gives you a chance to meet people. For example, the different interviewees, the different candidates, as you wait for your chance to be called upon, you can talk among each other, discuss ideas, and who knows, you might form a very lasting friendship from just from just that conversation because I remember when I just moved to Dubai I, I was able to form lasting friendships with people that I still talk to even now so yes don't pass on that chance of a walking interview in addition to that you can just move out like in a in a busy town move out walk into offices and just express your interest drop your CV you know employers will know that you went an extra mile and you really need this job well that's all I have for you guys today and if there is something that I missed out on and any of you would like to you know suggest or help out someone just please comment down in the comment section below and if you like this video or if you found it helpful just please give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you click the subscription button till next time see you in the next video bye
very fast YouTube video. <laughs> okay. Say hello. <laughs> Pam. Experiences. Um My experiences from the time I left home. Well, my channel is basically going to be about. We have a website called Bo Bowen Rider, Bo Bowen Rider, ba Bowen Rider, Bowen Rider. <laughs> Forgive. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I just just click the subscribe button. This number two, public transport. Well, public transport. Well, it can. I would advise you know dress as warm as you can like lots of layers of clothes just try to buy scarves get um yeah buy scarves well especially if you moved for work So tip number one, I would advise, tip number one, move around a lot. Well, um, it can be a bit tricky because some, and in this place you will, it, it's so rich in tradition. They will be interrupted me. <laughs> 